All right, partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! I'm ready to marry. I'm ready. Oh, check out that landing, okay. goddamn! It's been a long time since I've done anything with anyone, and I really want someone. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Oh, fuck, we forgot to oh, do wait. contact. Is there a number? Oh, oh no. Uh, no. Uh, wait, we didn't oh, get. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. Bye, right, guys. Bye. Are you tired of boogers? Clogging up your Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. All right. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I get it. I'm not your favorite Gatlin. I know, I know, I know. It's all good though. Hello again. I got faith in you, man. You ready, partner? Look, it took me a while to understand what Globo's saying, but he's just saying over and over, I want a drum, give me a drum, somebody give me a drum. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. i fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Just choose something. Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. What's it gonna be? Excuse me. 
Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. And who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweed to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Tweeg! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Well, geez. I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister. And I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow. Yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding. She's wrong and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Gene. Okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Dispatch 146, you have a 1052 double VOA call at the Dickinson Farm. Repeating, dispatch 146, you have a double VOA 1052 call at the Dickinson Farm. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Clug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. Oh shit, another Gatlion! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. There, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And... No matches found. Oh, <laughs> well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene! Don't forget about Knifey! You want to give that scanner uh, a little scan? See what see what's doing? Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. 
let's ask them some questions. Wait, you, you sound like you've got me my voice a little. If I'm what? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Commercials are usually designed. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Hey, I'm Pimple Pete. I'm gonna pimp you, pimp, pimp. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. Put but everything in the, in the, good luck. In the, in my I guess. Hope you find them. I want to stop everything. Woof! They didn't know anything. That was a real D rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well. Maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. In the thing. Let me sh let me show you an example. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it. I promise. Now I, now I'm going around the super confident. You know, I don't have any pimples. Not that that's really sort of the thing. But anyway, yeah, it's great. That's right. I'm in the elite, and I'm going to tell you what happens with I but Yo, bounty hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. So stop it. And take out hey, uh, hey, tough guy. We're we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ! Leave me alone. How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! No! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my censors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. The fuck is, what is with this crowd? Just open the gates. I don't want to miss the Hyperbond 6 midnight launch at High on Life. Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. Let us in! We want to be the no, first this one can live, okay? Six. I'm gonna no, get fucked can't. up on humans! Stop trying to kill everyone, Jesus! Fine. Do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo, that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Hey, what's up, Blurdo? You know anything about a, a, where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that 
piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. What do you. Oh, it's you. Back to hurt my feelings again? Leave them alone! Hey, what's up, best friend? Don't wait in that crowd, poor nerds! You head right on through! Shit, thank you! Let's do this! Sweezy's always the right choice. Have you have you ever eaten your own poop? Because you know, well, okay. All I, right, I'll let's just find this high on life store and get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Uh, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody hey, wants to talk to you the broken you were leg guy. Asking around it. for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where where it don't. Wait. Oh, you're back. Oh, shit. Do you need it's you. To go with the you? bounty hunter's back. Everyone. Ah, geez, I thought you killed all these guys it's already. It's the bounty hunter. They're back. Nice. Love a dead end. Oh, check it out. They're so scared, they're sending their elite troops at us. This is for Gatlas and Earth. Sorry, uh, for Gatlas and Earth. My glob shot, you know. Ready for Sweezy? Hey, can you come back? Hey, come on back. I'm sorry if I was a little hostile. That's the end for this ant.
Did they say they're with the G3 now? We must be on the right trail if they're coming at us this hard. Come on, let, let's get to this high on life place. Look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird. God, fuck the G3. Let's save these humans, you know? Help me. This is the real meat and potatoes of our adventure, you know? Just good old-fashioned combat. Join the G3. You killed nine talk. Are you? Stepped on your ass. That was a shitty encounter, anyway. I'm glad we're. Well, hey, this seems pretty nice. You know, I, I bet all the humans are really happy here.
All right, that, that, that's got to be the high on life store. I love buying hyperbombs. I've got 20 of them already, and I'm going to buy 20 more. Trust me. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Oh, thank God they opened this new high on life store. I've been counting down the days. Welcome I to High on Life Store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Hey, where are you going? There's still more stuff you can ask them. Uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened, so, uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour, and honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far, because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them.
God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? <laughs> Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was really bad. Totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and hey, they're. Sick. You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things. Better than David Luke's ever did. Look at you! You're drone for! Woo! and scared now.
Oh, you finally brought me out again. Well, what, did I offend you or something earlier? Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? No worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clark don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen? We had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know, but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. You're doing great work. 
thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. I caught one of those human movies recently. The Godfather. Holy moly Stromboli, that movie was good. Bam! Boom! Francis Ford Coppola, he's back, baby! How'd it go? Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. At night, when the mask is off, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide the truth of myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. doesn't do anything for me. Knifey, go for it. Don't show me. Consider that an early retirement. Did they turn this highway into their home? Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway.
let you kill you. All right, we've got a war thing. Fucking shit. You and me, bounty hunter. Their warp face budget must be astronomical. it again.
don't you fucking die. Do you have any idea how annoying it's gonna be to find someone else to carry me? I like to shop at Ralph's. Annoying little fuckers! Clooney more like George Balloony. Bug-eyed little bastard. Did you forget about my time bubble? Motherfucker! Oh, I'm aiming right for your ligaments. Ooh, you know I'm always game. Feeling good, bounty hunter? That's tugging on my nerve endings. Sometimes you gotta know when to walk away and know when to stop. Time to save some humans.
I was just starting to think maybe you didn't like me or something. Oh, I love this. You feeling that breeze? Cause I sure am. Oh, I love it. This isn't sanitary, and, and it hurts like fuck! Ah, like a bird! for you. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that either. I got some fun discs to shoot if you're interested. Ready, willing, and able! for ya.
looking at? 